What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. I don't think I've ever been live on a Monday, but maybe. I hope it's coming in clear. And I was live earlier on um, TikTok and had some fun. What's up, Brianna? Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Yoi. I'm going to butcher that name. I'm so sorry. Uh, Yoi. Yoi Toads. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to butcher that one. <laughs> Hi, Audrey. Hi, everybody. Hi, Raina. Good to see you, Terry. What's up? So um, I'm going to have to wear these glasses. So I, uh, these are from Craft Optics. You can maybe see inside here, Craft Optics. And um, they are custom glasses. They're going to put your prescription in the lenses so that as you're looking through, um, you still have your peripherals and stuff. Um, but they're kind of equivalent to probably an, um, an eight if it was a reader. Um, but you can see I even have bifocals kind of set into here. So I'm going to be working with SS3 today on this beautiful red uh, cross pen that is for a client order. And um, I'll do my best to get the camera to focus on such tiny stones, but um, it's going to be a bit difficult. So I won't be able to work up super close to the camera because it's just wanting to be over here. And I'm only... Um, I'm not even this far from the camera. Like I'm super zoomed in. So if you guys can see, if you make an L with your finger, that's pretty much in my box. I'm trying to work in here. Um, but yes, itty bitty stones. What's up, Leslie? Good to see you. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Dana Lynn. Hi, everybody. Hi, Delita. Good to see you guys. I see you're watching from YouTube and Facebook. If you're Facebook, um, if it says Facebook user, just give StreamYard permission um, to have access and then we'll see your beautiful name. Um, Raina, you know what? I, I would think so. Uh, but I'm not certain. So give them an email. It's actually their, um, 13 year anniversary, uh, today, which I had no idea. I just was having to do this job with these SS3 stones and said, I'm going to need my craft optics for this job. So, um, yeah, I wish it would focus. I don't know why. Come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Super. So yeah, super tiny stones. I don't know why I have to whisper when I work on small stones. What's up, Shannon? Good to see you. I hope you have been as busy as a ninja from a three-day dojo as ever. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Cecilia. And so what else? What else? We have a coupon fo for you. Live 10. Get you 10% off if you're in the mood to shop. If you're not, no biggie. Just chill with us and, and have some... Uh, fun sparkle time and I can of course answer questions. If you wonder why I like to spin this in the camera, I'm actually checking my rows to make sure they're super straight all the way through the body of the honeycomb. So you'll see how the, the stones will disappear and all you see is stripes. That's what I'm doing there when I do that. So yeah, fun stuff. All right, let's get into it. I've got my, um, so I'm going to go ahead and sand a little bit further. So I did sand earlier. It's hard to see because it is so tiny, but I'm going to lightly sand. I even have red on uh, my sandpaper here. I know, right? They're going crazy. And it makes it even harder on your eyes when um, you have sparkles. So I've got my light on. Of course, it's for filming. So I'll turn this LED off. And it's still pretty sparkly in here. I've got filtered lights on. Um, so it shouldn't be very sparkly, but can you even see like it's it's even easier to see with less sparkles. So if you're working like in your dining room or your kitchen and the stones are just really sparkly, um, try to filter those lights. You can put uh, sometimes a paper towel over the light and that will help kind of filter out that, um, you know, just all those ping, 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 all that stuff. Right. I know. huh? Let's see. It says Facebook user. What do you do when there are images or names that make your honeycomb not straight anymore? That's when you're going to use um, lots of filler stones. And so it would be very difficult to do a name in SS3 because these are already SS3. But sometimes I've been known to cut the stones. Um, I've got special um, pliers and cutters that can actually cut these, pardon me, super small stones and then use those for fillers. Um, but yeah, it's very difficult. Now, if you have a bigger, a bigger size item, then definitely use the smaller filler stones to help that design look nice and um, even. Yeah, for sure. 
And then whoever asked that question, if you're on you're on Facebook, if you give StreamYard permission, um, then we can see your name. So I like to have everybody's name so I know who I'm talking to. If I if I know you, if not, it's nice to meet you. And hello, what's up, Letitia? Good to see you. Yes, ma'am. It's been a minute since I've been live. I've been maybe live uh, was Friday. We went twice, and then so hopefully I'll be on more of a regular schedule. Um, hopefully once or twice a day. Even we have a ton of projects to that are all lined up. And they're all unpacked. And I'm like, but the rest of my office is not. So I still have some work to do. So give me just a little bit more and I'll be I'll be ready for you guys. But for today, we're going to do SS3. And so um, I'm actually going to leave that little light off because uh, it's even easier for me to see. And I know I've seen it on my computer. So Judy, what's up, Judy? So um, it should have given you a little link on Facebook to get permission um, hi, Tanya. I can see your comment. Yes. Um, but it if you go to, I don't, it should have given you a little link. Hang on. Let me, let me see something real quick. On the post, if, um, oh, you know what? You're right. It doesn't, it doesn't give you that. Well, because I'm the actual broadcaster, so I'm not sure why I'm seeing that. But maybe StreamYard, um, hmm, a good question. I'm going to have to look that up. But now I know you're Judy, so, um, you know. Uh, yes, Kiki, as far as I know, SS3 is the smallest. I've not ever um, seen SS2, but um, I've heard some people say there are, so I've not seen it. But I would love to. I would love to use SS2. Hi, Angela. Good to see you. Hi, Anna. Hi, Chiquita. Good to see you. Hi, Trina. Yes, going live. Going to do some little little bitty SS3s today. So I'll go ahead and sand just real lightly because you don't know how um, thick this paint might be. I, I have a feeling it's quite um, thin. So just be real gentle and get some nice scratches on here. <clears throat> and then we can wipe it off and get to gluing. Jessica says, what's a good glue to use for synthetic leather that will seal in markers for the back fill um a good glue for synthetic leather so synthetic leather is usually going to be a plastic or a pvc coating and so uh, fusion tack is great for that if it's a um if it's a bendable leather then still fusion tack gem tack multi-grab 360 if it's like a hardbound book type of thing um so that's not going to bend or like a dashboard or something then you can totally use um CG500 Ninja Superflex stuff like that it just depends on the use oh you've got SS2s awesome well i've got to do some more research hey we learn something every day and this on this my alcohol wipe i'm going to clean this off and you might even see a little bit of the residue come off onto my alcohol wipe and there it is so i'll do like another inch with you guys it'll take about probably an hour Depending on how chatty we are. Yes, these, uh, Tanya and Monica, these are Light Siam AB. Oh, sorry. I'm hitting. It's right, right close to my hand. So um, so this is a full 10 gross factory pack. And um, SS3, they're 1.3 millimeter. They're very, very tiny. But yeah, they're the Light Siam Red with that nice AB coating on them. Good stuff. Let me try not to hit the camera again. Because it's it's also hard for me to see with these um, these glasses on, but it's for shoes. So um, for shoes, you could totally the Ninja Super Flex is probably going to be your best bet. Um, yes, click overview then see more. Oh, awesome! Thank you, Angela. So try that, Judy. Click overview then see more. Then click the Streamyard. Then come back and click live chat. Okay, awesome. I wondered why because uh, sometimes it shows, but sometimes it does not. So thank you for that help. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Hi, Ashley. Good to see you. Thank you for your order. I think it got sent out today. Ashley is an amazing paper um, artist, craft artist. Um, Ashley, what is, your, what is your site? And if anybody else has a site, put your site in. Hey, Kim. Good to see you. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, let us know. I follow you on Instagram now. I do my best to follow back when I can. Sometimes I'm limited to how many a day I can follow back. It, like, shuts me down and stuff. So, you know, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Yes, this pen is going to be so beautiful. 
in this stunning light Siam ABSS3 color. So earlier we had a pile of SS6s, um, and I have one that I didn't put away. Look how big that is compared to SS3. Let's do this and this. Isn't that crazy? They're so tiny. They're just so tiny. But let me put this away before I grab it. And this one is crooked. Get in there. Get in your spots. Get seated. What's up, Jason? Good to see you. I just heard that you came by. <laughs> I think they're, I, th I hope they got your order done. I was um, on a phone call. And now my glue, come on, glue. Not much glue at all because they're so small. And you want to make sure they're seated into the glue nice and flat. You don't want any stones overlapping. That will be your first stones that are going to um, come off or get hit or all that. So you want your stones flat into the surface and in, seated into the glue. Awesome. Bling by Honey on IG. Awesome. Awesome. You're never a pain, Jason. Never, ever. Never, ever. Awesome. Yes. Let's see. Uh, I always feel like they're a tiny until I'm doing a word with them and detailed design. Yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. I hear you. You are gifted is Letitia Harrison. Yes. Awesome. Very cool. Awesome, Kim. Hooray. Very good. Very good. I'm happy to see all that. That's the coolest thing. I think new users every day. It's fabulous. Welcome on in. You can ask any questions that you want. I'm here to answer them as best I can. You'll never get any attitude from having me having to repeat myself over and over. That's what I'm here for. That's what I do. And that looks like a four got into my pile. That one was way too big. All right, I'm going to have to adjust some of these because I can see that they are misbehaving. Someone is not in their spot. Someone is not in their little seat. Let's get in there. And there it was. Yeah, it's super hard to see these little, little, little guys. Little bitty guys. Super difficult. Hmm. I have a question. Is there background music playing? Do you guys hear anything? Let me check something. I think, oh, I think it is. Let me know if you hear something. I don't know if it's on, but I like to try. You don't hear anything. Oh, well, let me click something. Maybe I have to click it each time. See, I'm learning. This StreamYard is a pretty fabulous app, and it just started um, with this new feature you can have. So how about now? I'll probably have to turn it down. Let me do, I like it usually at 10%. How's that? What do you guys hear? How about now? Oh, yes, the trays. Yeah, trays are awesome. Um, they just get in my way. I dump them. All of that stuff. But trays are awesome. I'm working on a neoprene mat and it helps me flip the stones. Ooh, I had a glue clog right there. But yeah, if there's a tray anywhere, I'm guaranteed to flip it. So I'm not allowed. Oh, good. Y'all can hear some music now. Oh, it's too low. Well, I will crank it up. Well, not, you know, not too loud. Not too, too loud. Okay, let's go 20%. How's that? How's that? I know, right? Yes, totally. I catch them all over. No matter what. I stopped wearing my bracelets and longer sleeves because I do catch stuff. But uh, yeah, it. I'm a little klutzy. I've got lots of the trays everywhere. But no, nah, they're not for me. But they can be fantastic aids to help you do your thing. Uh, Rita, the glue I'm using right now is um, Fusion Tech. Yes, this is uh, the same as the work mat. It's a neoprene coating. 
and I cover most all of my um, desks with it. It helps with a lot of things. It helps with flipping the stones. It helps with um, sound and it helps with um, pressure on your, well, now I have a, a fuzz in here, pressure on your katana. A lot of times when you have a hard surface, like a, one of those drill containers or anything else that you're a, like a, you know, I used to use like a peanut butter jar lid. Um, it wears out your tool a lot faster because you're pressing hard and using a soft surface. It actually forces you to uh, be a little softer in your touch. We did a fun little focus group years ago. And it was very interesting to see the difference that people had when they had a, um, a soft surface to work on yes i know right oh awesome well very cool yeah i'm glad to hear that those trays work for you my thoughts on liquid fusion i don't hear you so liquid fusion um they may have updated the formula or something but the bottles that i have and for my testing it says it's good for porous items which is wood paper stone um you know, things that absorb, even fabric. I think it's good for fabric too. But um, it's not good for, you know, non-porous like this. Like it's not going to soak into the ink pen. It's not going to soak into um, a tumbler. And I've had it, um, it just didn't pass our testing. And I've seen, unfortunately, a lot of videos or pictures where it just peels right off of surfaces because it's not meant for um, hard surfaces. So yeah, it's not a glue that we have. Um, or, or suggest because it's just not ever we rarely use glues on those type of items but I think it, it should probably be okay for some people but it's just um, I hate to confuse people and and show them that one when I know it can peel and it can peel quite easily so we yeah that's one that we don't we don't uh, what kind of glue would you use for ceramic uh, so Nayla what kind of ceramic Tell me in the comments, like a ceramic coffee cup or a ceramic tile or a ceramic coating. What kind of ceramic? Let's see what this light does. Maybe I do need some light. Pew! It's very sparkly. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I've heard that the gym tack does run. I'm sorry, the liquid fusion runs. Yeah, Gem, like Gem Tag doesn't usually run. And this is fabric. I'm sorry, fusion tag. Oh, there's so many glues in my, so many glue words in my mouth right now. It's hard to keep them all straight. A ceramic cup. So I would totally use um, two part epoxy on that because that's going to help last through lots of washing and um, heavy use and the coating. Um, you could totally use. Pardon me, um, fusion tack, gem tack, but your longest, your best bond is going to be a two part epoxy. Two part epoxy. So many glues and so little time, right? Who liked the Easter poo? Who liked the Easter poo? I thought that was pretty funny. I think a lot of people enjoyed it. My childish humor, you know. Looking pretty good here. Nice, nice. Fusion Tech and Gym Tech are very similar. Yes, yes. I like them both. They're both wonderful from different manufacturers. You are so welcome. Yes. Fusion Tech on Vans, but seems some of the stones still pop. I always do lot dots and don't want the glue noticeable on the fabric. So is it, um, are they popping maybe where it wrinkles? Because you had to think about how much um, shoes go through, like um, just your our feet hit each other while we're walking sometimes. They get, you know, so much can happen with shoes. So if, if you're having... Um, problem with that glue on vans then try the next strongest would be uh, multi grab 360 and you could do the same one dot per stone process but shoes go through a lot of wear and tear that's the word i was looking for wear and tear right i know huh who liked the easter poo <laughs> come on laura you know that you loved it <laughs> kimberly <laughs> right <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought it was pretty funny too. Sometimes we have a good time. Awesome. Oh, you got one at Walmart. Very cool. Oh, hi from freezing Cincinnati. Oh, no. Nan, what's the go-to glue for steel tumblers? I would have to say there's, we'd like to use three of them. Um, Fusion Tack, Gem Tack, those are great if you're beginning. And um, Multi Grab is a really good one too, the next strongest. And then your two-part epoxy is the, and we like to use Ninja Super Flex as well. So there's a lot of glues that are great on the stainless steel tumblers and the plastic tumblers too. Same stuff, right? More pops are from the side of the shoe. So yeah, you might have um, some rubbing. Maybe it's hitting something while you, or if you're driving with those shoes on, like there's so many things that can happen um, with shoes. So maybe make your glue dot a little bit larger and give it more of a hug without drowning it, I guess. And that should work a little better. And if not, then for sure the Multigram 360 is going to grab um, a little bit better than fusion tech or gem tech it's pretty good stuff all right here we go here we go yes two-part epoxy for sure and it's two-part epoxy glue um i believe it is different than the two-part epoxy um coating uh coated what's the word you know The coating that they cover the epoxy tumblers in. Oh, I'm losing my words today. Maybe because I'm straining to see these little bitty stones. That's probably what it is. Most probably what it is. See, I had a little too much glue, so it's a bit hard to see. So if you guys are like, I don't like using the white glue. It's too hard to see. We'll use less because you're drowning your stone. And that's why you can't see the stone. Let's try to come up close. See, I was a little heavy on that last row. But looking pretty good. Pretty good. Laura, this is SS3. Mm-hmm. On this cross pen. So it's going to be quite nice. And yes, um, I've ordered my... Now I, I got to get my new one. I have one somewhere. I saw it when it got packed, but I don't know where the heck I ended up putting it. And it was from, I think, uh, 2009, 2010. It was super old. So I guess it is time to get another one. So I ordered mine today. I got me a, a platinum cross pen today. So yeah, if you don't lose them, they're very nice. This is a metal a metal casing. So Nice, high quality. And this one actually came with a refill that the customer sent. Yes. Well, see, Laura, let me take off my glasses and show you. Um, I am using Craft Optics glasses that I bought. I learned today I bought these in 2017. It's actually their 13-year anniversary for Craft Optics. So they'll put your prescription in here. And then these are equivalent to like a, an 8 or a 10 um reader so it's pretty it's pretty cool but yeah let me put these back on or yeah or else i cannot see for sure but yeah when i when this when uh susie said you got to do ss3 on that that order and i was like oh dear my vision is quite different than it was but hey i got my backup craft optics and they have a website. I believe it's craftoptics.com. They're, uh, they're on TikTok. I tagged them this morning. And they are definitely on Instagram. So check them out. They're definitely not inexpensive. Notice I didn't use the word cheap. We don't like to use the word cheap. We use the word inexpensive. We're not here to do cheap stuff. We do good stuff. And if it's inexpensive, then that's, that's awesome. But usually, mm, not so much. Oh, come here, you. Come here, you. Thank you, thank you. Is it okay to cover the whole surface of the shoe that I will be rhinestoning to seal in the marker using 360 glue? Oh, you know what else? Um, so if you're using Sharpie markers, sometimes Multigrab 360 can discolor a Sharpie marker. So you might want to look into getting some fabric paint that won't, it. fabric paints will not discolor with um, those glues. 
but check a little a small piece and you really don't want to fully cover um, any shoe with a glue or it will become quite hard um, it'll be you know still flexible but it's going to be stiff so it might be not such a good idea to, to you know slather it you know hello George good to see you hello thank you Shannon thank you thank you but there's lots of glues I think we only sell like five or six. There's so many glues out there. I like, I love to see people trying new glues and learning new things. It's good stuff. And then, you know, share your information. We have a how to crystallize 101 group on Facebook that this is um, being broadcast into as well. And um, so, yeah, share your information there. Nothing is off topic. I'm more than happy to talk about any kind of glues. Hopefully I've used it before. If not, then I will learn something too. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, looks pretty. Thank you very much. Are you doing the whole pen? Yes, the whole thing all the way down. So now when it gets down to this part, I'm going to have some, um, you know, some skill going in here to get that taper because these are the smallest that I have. So I might have to get my um, super tiny cutters out and um, cut something. So we'll see. We shall see what I end up doing. And I'll do my best to film it, but it won't be live because I'll have to concentrate. And yeah, I can't be, I can't be chitty chitty chat chat with um, cutters and stuff. So concentration game will be on. Get off of there. But yeah, light cyan AB is so beautiful, and I finally get to use it on something. So excited. And then, of course, when I pull these colors to work on something, there's there's quite a bit on my desk at uh, at this moment. Uh, Jason, it's How to Crystallize 101. And since I had my light Siam AB out, um, I was testing on a, another silicone, um, what are these, earbud, earbud case. And, um, you know, there's lots of different types of silicones. So I went ahead and did a little test on the back of this guy and it's super good. And this was the one where I didn't sand and it came right off. And this is where I did sand and prime and them suckers are on there, right? Mm -hmm. Did you miss the live? No, Jennifer, this is live right now. Welcome. We are live with Jennifer right now. Come on in. I was live earlier on TikTok, so maybe you missed that one, but, um, it's the same. I started here and we got to about here and now, or maybe here, I forget. We've maybe done two or three rows since this live started. So this is not a, not a super speedy process, but in plus I'm chatting with you guys. Where's my threes at? I need some more stones. They're so small. I can't even find the package. Right. Right. Awesome. Very good. Yes, you're here, but it's the same. You know, glue, stones, katana, nothing crazy. Well, besides it's being, it's SS3 that sometimes is kind of crazy. Kind of sort of crazy. Well, hello, Anna from Rockford, Illinois. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for all of you joining in on a Monday. Hopefully I'll be able to go live quite a few days a week. I've always said I want to be like Matt, Matt Vassalo at the Rhinestone World. So it's time to at least try to keep a schedule, right? And it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to do nights now that I have a, a puppy. But sometimes we'll do nights. On every other weekend, I've been checking her in. At the doggy daycare for a long weekend. She gets to play with her friends. And that gives me a full Friday night. All the way to Monday. Without um, having to neglect her. I don't like to neglect her. So she's she's very cuddly. And she wants to be in your business. So it's very difficult to go live. And have her boohoo and 
because she wants to touch something and play with something and all that stuff. George says, let's see. Oh, Audrey, it's our Samurai Glue Kit. And that is on the site. And you can use code uh, LIVE10 to save 10% on that. And it will probably give you free shipping because it's, um, I believe that kit is $49. And the glue is inside that kit. And there's also a video showing you how to do everything before you even purchase it. So free training for the whole glue kit. And George says, I blinged out my Cowboys jersey using Swarovski crystals. Ooh, the glue I used. The glue... The glue I use, the super tight fusion tech adhesive, the problem is that a few are popping off is the glue. I mentioned a good glue. So it is, it, so if it's on the actual fabric, that's a good glue. But am I guessing right that you're gluing on to the numbers or the letters or the logo? If that's not fabric, it may not stick well. A lot of times those letters are made of like plasticine or I'm sorry, plastisol. And it's difficult to get any kind of glue to stick to that. So, um, yeah, it's those are difficult unless it's a real um, fabric. Then um, the Fusion Tech is great for fabrics. But, yeah, those inks are just really difficult. I've seen um, some sports jerseys just peel just the whole giant number peels off in a sheet because it just does not stick to that stuff awesome yes uh, jennifer i have an english bulldog she's about a year and a half now so she's she's definitely a lot less uh you know work than before but i still don't like you know leaving her home all day by herself and i, I bring her here sometimes but then we're, we're trying to work so it's you know, trying to watch her and every two hours she still has to go walk and all that stuff. So, but we might bring her a few times more. Woo, I pulled that one right up. Probably because the tip of my, there we go, we had glue in it. So don't put your tip in glue or that's going to happen. Keep it nice and clean. You're so welcome, George. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, she's super cute. She's, and she's really good. And I was telling my husband um, this morning, he got in from work. And, um, you know, she's on the couch chilling and popped up and got all excited with him. And then she wanted to come and lay on me because I hold her like a baby and rub her tummy and rock her in the recliner. And I'm just like, I got to go to work. And I almost brought her to daycare, but I knew he'd be awake by noon. So she wouldn't be alone too long. And she'll just be sleeping, which that's fine too. But I don't like to leave her alone. She's just, she's so cute. She's so cute. But when she's here, she's kind of like in everybody's business. Interrupting everybody. And we're trying to build tools and pack orders. And, you know, timing is everything. Time is money. Ashley, yes, you will for sure meet her. Enter the room, Vince. Hello, my friend. Good to see you, friend. You guys, um, Vince Vinceri is so amazing he's done more cars than me i'm trying to catch up to him but i don't think i'm gonna because he's already doing another one and uh so check him out vinceri.com props to you my friend we are not worthy we are not worthy just like what is that who who is the the stupid dudes that said we are not worthy uh Bill and Ted, right? No. I don't know. Something funny. But yes, sir. Yes, we are doing fabulous. So fabulous. And I hope you are as well. Yes, Garth. Sorry, yes. I was on the wrong stupid show. Wayne's World. I'm so sorry, Laura. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's me. I was... I was raised on commercials and stupid TV. So, you know, yeah, it's just so much of it. So much of it. Okay, Vince, here's a, I'm going to up the ante. Give me some work on your SS3s. Give me your SS3 jobs right here. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't want any more SS3 jobs. <laughs> uh, Wayne's World. I'm like, which one was it? Bill and Ted. Sorry, you guys. I normally am A plus on my 80s and 90s stupid movies. You know, right? Isn't that so nice, Vince? And yeah, because of this, I already ordered myself a platinum cross pen 
for myself, I know I have one somewhere, but it's an SS7. And I think I did it back in 2009 or 2010. I forget. And the only reason why I know that is because I used it at a trade show and the badge had that date on it. So it's pretty old. But I know it got packed. I just am not. I have like five more boxes to unpack. You know. You know. Ooh, the clip. I'm going to get it as super close as I can in there. So it's possible that I can get pretty good. But I'm not going to take the clip off. It's It might just have a couple of, you know, pieces missing underneath there. But it's underneath there. So I'm going to be all right. The customer was notified. And they do not care. Do not care. Right? It's good stuff. Yes, Ashley, it's a good, it's a good stupid show, you know. <laughs> you definitely won't get smarter watching stuff like that, which is, you know, I'm definitely not the smartest, uh, <laughs> sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, how's, how's my puppy? She is doing fabulous. We were just talking about her. George, oh, that is way too difficult. Um, from vendor to vendor, you'd you'd never know what those if they're fabric or unless the photo it shows a real detail, then I yeah, I would not know. Whenever we do um jerseys, it's been a while since we've done jerseys. Uh, we do get them from the NFL.com sites or the customer sends them. I've gotten to work on actual players' jerseys before, and they're just beautiful and fabric all stitched beautiful stuff and then i've gotten to work on players jerseys that are just gross silk screened no offense to silk screen but when you're you know thinking it's a player's jersey it should be very nice and um it was not so it just depends it just depends mm -hmm. let's see angel this i believe the customer they bought this off amazon and sent it to us and it's a cross uh, C R O S S cross pen. It came with the little refill and, um, it's, I mean, it doesn't show the box on the site, but yeah, it's a nice metal just to, um, ballpoint pen, but it's, it's kind of, it's like you're, you're normal. I mean, there's pens that are thousands of dollars, but this is a, a, like 30 or 40 bucks. I think 30 or 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. Uh Oh, streaming. You can't see the comments from I don't know, Laura. I'm seeing I'm seeing most everything from I see lots of Facebook and I see YouTube as well. Yes. Oh Vince, it has taken so much practice to run the cameras, watch the chat, do the gluing. Yeah, it's a lot. It's for sure a lot. But I recommend trying it. No one will ever throw tomatoes, I promise, because you know. They're not doing it, so you just got to practice. It has taken a while, and it does take me like an hour to get set up and make sure I click all the right buttons and do all the right stuff. But yeah, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good way. And StreamYard is for free. It's for free. Oh, I'm sorry, Laura. You're asking what else are you streaming on? Facebook doesn't show comments. Oh, I see. It's on. So it's on the Crystal Ninja Facebook page, probably my personal page, probably the How to Crystallize 101 group, and also on YouTube. So four, four platforms. Four platforms. Yes. See, Vince, I'm not all that great because I didn't even understand Laura's super simple question. <laughs> But yeah, it's going, and you can also go to Twitch, and um, I think it'll go up to 10, 10 places on the free, like I have the free version. And it's it does a lot, like I have the little intro thing, I can put a video up. Okay, so I'm going to put a video up, just like a couple seconds, watch this. Um, if I go to this window, and it can go to, let's go to New York City real quick. And there we go. We just went to New York City. <laughs> so, yeah, you can do all kind of cool stuff. Um, 
but you also have to know where to click and when to click and all this. And if you click the wrong thing, then now I can't find my comments. Okay, here we are. <laughs> and what else? What else? Oh, yeah, Vince. Vince uh, did a Fiat and Clear on Arboth. I hope I said that correctly. And I believe he's still giving it away. He's doing a raffle and he's over in the UK. So um, if you guys win, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. I already put my vote in or my ticket in. So good luck, you guys. And yeah, if I win, it's going to cost a, a ton to get that over to the States. But hey, don't think I won't. Don't you think I won't? Hi, Maureen. I'm back. Hello. Awesome. Oh, very cool, Ashley. Very cool. I need to do that on my other account so that I can have two camera views on uh, TikTok as well. I, I do that on Instagram. It's pretty fun. You can... Because if ever I want to look at the camera, which is also another another way to you know lose concentration, you're looking at the camera, and you're filming your hands. But sometimes you know I like to look in the camera if I'm discussing a topic that I need people to see my face to see how you know if I my tone or whatever. It's nice to look into the camera. People can see if you're upset or laughing or whatever. So. But yeah, I got to get my other account on TikTok up to that. So if you happen to see the Crystal Ninja team, give me a follow. I'm doing pretty good about following back on that account. And also on the Crystal Ninja account because I'm at 7,800 follow backs. And I have to constantly unfollow people that don't follow me back because I want to be able to follow back all the creators that follow me. So yeah. It always perturbs me when I see people that have a decent, you know, 10,000, 30,000, 100,000 followers and they follow like 20 people, 300 people. I'm like, that's not how this works. You got to follow back. Just saying. I mean, you know, I was at my max on Instagram, so I had to go through and unfollow. And it's possible that you follow someone because like they had a, a funny joke or a good video or all that stuff. And then they don't follow you back, which is totally fine. Um... But yeah, I gotta get I gotta get that other account up and going. So we're at 441. And see, Vince, I'm also watching the time. I'm gonna go live for just one hour. Sometimes I'll be live for two or three hours, but not today. So just popping in for an hour. And my sanding kind of stops there. So I'll do like probably three more rows with you guys. And then I have to turn off. And you know what else, Vince? Um I'll send you a message uh, tonight. I know you'll be... Wait, it's already late there, but um, I have a way I can help you practice too. And it won't be like with lots of people. I've been figuring out ways to go live to practice some stuff without broadcasting. So there's a way. I'm going to get you to go live. That's the goal, right? To get Vince Vinceri to go live. Ooh, I'll bring you in. So like right now, if I was to send you a, an invite, um, it would be through Facebook. Um, then you can be in, behind the scenes and you'll be um, like on, as another camera. So I have, I'm watching from, I'm, I'm, I have two cameras on right now, but like my MacBook is a, an ad, a, what do you call it, a source. So right now, see if I have two, I don't have my laptop camera on, um, but I've got my pen on this view and then that one on this view. So you can turn them off. You can um, make it the one, but the microphone was off. So sorry, I did that. And you can, you can control microphones. It's pretty cool. So yeah, you need to go to sleep. You need to rest up. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll send you the info and, and we'll do that one day, you know, in our spare time, right? <laughs> In our spare time. Whoa, that was way too much glue. Yeah, let me get some of that off of there. Just kind of move it out. Thank you. See what I did there? Kind of feathered it out. So it's not too lumpy clumpy. I know, right? Anna says, oh, that was a little cartoon of Ellie, of Eleanor, which is also Ella Snore. How do I go? Oh. If I go here, there's Ella Snore's cartoon, Eleanor. She's our other ninja. <laughs> oh, and then remove. Click, click. There you go. 
Easy peasy. Oh, that would be so cute, Jennifer. I know, huh? Yes, Ashley, maybe. Yeah, so maybe I'll do... Um, I'll See, I'll have to figure out how to film that part. But StreamYard is definitely good for filming your screen or using your screen as a presentation. So, And then I'll be able to show you how I do it. And then I can do a video on how I go do two cameras for Instagram, but I'll need three cameras, which is fine because I've got a ton of them. Don't ever, I don't ever uh, toss or exchange my cell phones when it's time to upgrade. I keep them all. I keep them all. And that's a good thing to do. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. These are Light Siam AB. And they're SS3. Super tiny. Super tiny. Let's see. Facebook user says, hello, I have an outside question. So to speak, what would you call this profession when it comes to blinging arts, personal services? I'm confused when it comes to an actual label. Um, okay. Good night, Vince. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for popping in. And um, so what do you call yourself? Um, the layman's term, unfortunately, most people know the term, and this is a horrible term, I can't stand it, but they get the gist, is you can use the word bedazzler. You can say blinger. Um, some people use the word strass or strass is a German word for glass, but it can also be misunderstood in other languages. It means something quite foul in other languages, so I don't use that word. Um, I say... To, the, to a layman, to a stranger, a professional bedazzler. But I also say that I'm one of the best in the world bedazzler. And it's not the bedazzle that your aunt does. Like, I, you know, you have to be. And then I hand them my 20-page business card that has projects from around the world and all that stuff. So, yeah, you're, it's, it's um, you know, an application specialist. They might think software. And I definitely use that one, too. So, it can be confusing, but I've learned if someone's not really interested, I can tell during conversation that they don't care. So I don't really give them the time of day. But if they're really wanting to know, yeah, professional application specialist, be jeweler, blingologist. Yes, I think someone might have copyright on blingologist, so I watch out on that one. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, you can do all kind of things. It'll be dazzler. I know. I know, right? I know. It is really 20 pages. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, what's up, Yashira? Good to see you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yep. A little tiny business card book. Yep. And and I made those years ago because it was difficult for people to understand that, um, you know, what I do is quite serious and, you know, that when you see a 20 page business card with the level of work that I do or that we do now, then it definitely makes a statement. It, it definitely um, helps the conversation either stop or start because they're like, Oh yeah, my aunt bedazzles. I'm like, no, she doesn't not like this. And if she does like this, then I'd, I need to meet her. Cause I'm going to have some work for her. So I think that's great too. You know, you know, Oh, right, Jennifer. I love the cars, too. Yes, we'll be doing um, a Jeep for Brianna, the Rhinestone Mermaid, in two weeks. Countdown. We'll do her wheels and the grill. And if we have time, maybe some other uh, parts and pieces like hinges and accent pieces and stuff like that. So, And that will be done live. We will have a schedule. We're going to have prizes. Um Probably giveaways each day at a certain time. And then a grand prize will be a three-day dojo. So uh, a lot is coming. And we have our um, logistics ninja traveling from Seattle moving down here on the same freaking weekend. So we're going to have a lot. We're going to be hopefully getting that Jeep in, getting that set up, and getting Michael set up and moved in and... So, yeah, it's going to be busy. It's going to be so busy. Mm-hmm. Yes, you could also say stoner. Yeah, for sure, Barbara. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's right, Ashley. You're up there, too. You're in 
You're in. Uh, he's in uh, Gig Harbor. Is where he's coming in from. Gig Harbor. And he's driving. He's driving his Jeep. You guys are going to die when you see his Jeep. His wheels are fully done. His hinges, his uh, lettering, and he's got a big family crest on his hood and his doors that he's going to be working on. So pretty spectacular. And we are so excited. Oh, you're two towns over. Well, that's awesome. Very cool. Where is that gap? What is going on here? This one was crooked. Something was off. There we go. Get in your little nook. The little There was a lot of glue, but that's okay. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. And I don't like putting glue on my tool, but I'm going to wipe it off immediately. Keep that clean. Oh, you're talking to your dad about uh, his 67 Nova. Mmm, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Ashley, can I use licensed items that I bought that I completely legit? I, I don't see... Okay, wait, I have to say. Uh, I am not a lawyer, so I can't tell you for sure. But most of the time, to embellish um, a proper item, there's no problem with it. Now, if you start, um, you know, selling tens of thousands of those items that company might have a problem with it but um for the for the most part again i'm not a lawyer and i don't have the fine print of that product that you're talking about whichever one it might be um because in anyone's um intellectual property they could totally you know pick and choose who they want to um you know stop or license or any of that but Professional embellisher. Yes, that's a good one too, Jennifer. Sure is. Sure is. All right, we got nine minutes left. Nine minutes. And I just love when someone says, those stones are going to fall off. You'll never be able to wash that car. How are you going to clean those wheels? Blah, blah, blah. And then I show them this. Wow, it's like a, a machine gun wrench. It's like a machine gun. I'm like, what was I saying in that video? <laughs> machine gun wrench. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, Randy. We've got lots of tips for you. Try to ease up on your pressure. You shouldn't have to press too hard. And your tip will last a lot longer. It will outlast any other tip out there, but it will last even longer. The more gentle touch that you have. Super soft. Super soft. Right? That was. See, I have these videos like loaded into this app. And I can just go to them. And I should have put a few more up. But that does take an extra bit of time. And we're, you know, doing lots of stuff today. So good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, and I'm going to have um, Robert, my video guy, come in for the uh, Jeep project. So I'm going to have some nice, beautiful time lapses and end videos. This is looking pretty good. So I think I might have an inch and a half so far. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Right? Yes, totally. The neoprene having a soft surface is really going to improve your, um, your tip lasting for sure. It's a ninja fact. Right? Hands have issues. Oh, I understand, Randy. Yes, Oh, for sure. Then, yeah. Then that's why we've got extra tips. You bet. Now, Randy, with your hand problems, I always like to know, um, do you like the katana better or a thinner? Because usually a thicker barrel like this um, is better for hand issues because um, that's what I've learned. And from um, ergonomics and stuff, to have a thinner tool is not healthy for your hands and stuff. It can be a little bit more taxing on your nerves. I can't even use thin tools. That's why you see me using this, this bad boy right here.
but I always like to learn. Maybe one day we'll make another tool that's an improvement, but so far so good, you guys. And then, I don't know if this camera can catch it. Oh yeah, it's pretty in focus there. So one of the reasons why the ends of these are hollow is so it will actually grab that facet. I don't know if you can see that. It's totally encasing the facet of that stone. And that way you can really press in and kind of wiggle it, make sure it's seated and flat into the glue. Right? And that's why it's like that. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Sapphire Creation. This is SS3. They are very tiny. Look at that. So small. So, so small. But it feels very sleek. Like you, can, you can't really feel anything. Um, but I do like using um, sevens, eights, you know, tens are good on pens. But this client wanted something a little more high end, a little more um, finer. Thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate that. Yes, we got the sixth one a few weeks ago. Yes, yes. And it's, you know, starting to happen. We're getting lots of the infringing tools removed here and there and everywhere. And so, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. This row is done and it is four minutes till five. So I'm going to have to go ahead and sign off with you guys and plug in all this equipment so it can keep charging for tomorrow and maybe i will be live again tomorrow awesome you can hold that you like the katana you can hold it better and don't drop it that much i made a huge difference for me and oh my goodness four thirties. well i'm so happy that you're still able to um create and that this is a tool that helps you um do that that's fabulous and i hope your hands are getting better and healing and that's good to know that's good to know beautiful well it looks like i've maintained about 50 of you today on a monday and that's pretty fabulous and what else what else i appreciate that you guys this color is so pretty i gotta think about what color i want because i got a silver one like it's all chrome it's a platinum i don't i guess it's just probably stainless steel i don't know but i will uh think about a design for my pen. I hardly ever write anymore, but it's going to be nice to have my very own pen. <laughs> Mine. It, and then I probably will find the other one right when I finish that one. So, you know. All right. Thank you guys so much. Um, let me know any other questions in the comments below if you're watching this on the replay. And I'll do my best to find this and answer everything for you. And like normal, I want you guys to stay sparkly. All right. Have a good one. How do I end? See, I got to figure out that one too. End. Bye-bye.